Gaming Bolt presents 15 things you need to know before you buy Lawbreakers. The more we see of Lawbreakers, the more we cannot wait to get our hands on it. It looks like an incredibly enjoyable hero shooter with some great mechanics, and the fact that its development team is being led by none other than Cliff Blazinski of Gears of War fame only serves to make us even more confident that the game will be excellent. In order to share with you just why we're feeling so good about this game, in this feature we're going to list out 15 things about the game that we feel you should know too. 15 things that will surely get you pumped for Lawbreakers if you aren't already. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Heavily physics-based. Lawbreakers is a game that is heavily reliant on a physics system that serves as the foundation of its gameplay. The central idea that the gunplay revolves around is that the laws of physics, and more specifically gravity, do not apply anymore. As such, when you play Lawbreakers, be prepared to use those things to your advantage, while also being on the lookout of other players exploiting the very same things to better use. All About Gravity as mentioned before, the central premise of Lawbreakers is gravity-defying combat, something that sounds awesome on paper and should be even better in practice. We've played the off anti-gravity or zero-gravity level in shooters every now and then, but to have an entire game based around that concept should be fun. Manipulating environments and using these unique physics will surely add a unique twist to the gameplay. You can shoot behind yourself. And of course, since there's going to be large parts of the game where there is no gravity to speak of, you're going to have to come up with some unique ways to move about. One such way is to shoot directly behind yourself whilst moving forward. Like so many awesome ideas, it sounds so simple and basic, but so unique at the same time. It remains to be seen whether it will actually feel right while you're playing the game, and just how much of an impact it will have on the gameplay. But we've got a good feeling about this one. Mastering movement is key. Movement and mobility have become such a key thing in the modern first-person shooter market, with games like Titanfall coming in and introducing all new ways to play and traverse. Lawbreakers, however, is doing something completely different, taking its gravity-defying physics and running with them. So much of the game is simply about you being able to move around properly. Mastering the way you move and shoot and mix those two things together is going to be key in Lawbreakers, and the rhythm of it looks fairly exciting from everything we've seen so far. Lots of unique abilities. Being a hero shooter, you'd expect there to be more to the actual moment-to-moment -moment gameplay of Lawbreakers than just movement and shooting. Other than gravity-manipulating skills, characters across classes will have a number of other unique abilities to make use of, from using lightning and shooting behind cover with the Titan class, to using a hook shot or being able to knock away enemy projectiles with the Assassin class. There's a lot of stuff for players to sink their teeth into. Not reliant on squad play. Lawbreakers is full of characters and classes that have bombastic abilities and slick weapons for players to make use of, but the flip side of this is that there's not much room for support roles. The game looks like it will be non-stop action in combat maps, which leads to the assumption that the gameplay of Lawbreakers will be less reliant on squads, and more focused on allowing players to play with some individuality. It's a little different than what we've been used to seeing from other hero shooters, especially with Overwatch last year, but it does seem really interesting. Unique new game modes. Of course, we don't know all of the game modes that will be featured in Lawbreakers yet, but judging by what we've seen so far, it looks like the game will offer a mix of traditional game modes and some unique new ideas. So sure, there's a mode that centers mostly around controlling and seizing turf, but by that same token, there's also a mode that revolves around the crazy concept of acquiring batteries, charging them up fully, and making sure that your enemies do not get their hands on it. It remains to be seen whether boss key have anything else up their sleeves, but we remain cautiously optimistic. No single player mode. Yet. Something that definitely works against Lawbreakers is the fact that like so many shooters we've seen recently, it won't feature a single player component. However, we recently conducted an interview with the development team, and they told us that given the unique and intriguing setting of the game, there's a very real possibility that they might add a single-player campaign in the future. Their focus for now is solely on the competitive multiplayer, but there is a chance that they might add a campaign or even a co-op experience if there is demand from the players for such modes. The Setting Speaking of the setting, Lawbreaker's setting looks, at least on paper, fantastic. The game is set in a sci-fi post-apocalyptic -post version of our world. The laws of physics have stopped working as they used to, and people have the ability to manipulate gravity at will. 
This has given rise to two new factions, one being the lawbreakers and the other being the enforcers, who engage in cops and robbers gunfights across twisted variations of real-world locations. Which brings us to our next point. The maps. The maps of lawbreakers look like they will show a unique kind of flair, both in terms of art and level design. From what we've seen, they look compactly designed, propagating intense and non-stop action. What makes them really interesting is that they're twisted and wacky takes on actual, real-world locations, and what they look like in the world of lawbreakers, in this post-post-apocalyptic world where the laws of gravity no longer mean as much as they used to. Will run at 60 FPS. It's kind of a given that lawbreakers will run at a solid 60 FPS on PCs, But what's really great is the development team at Boss Key Productions has confirmed that the game will run at the same frame rate on the PS4 and PS4 Pro. This is, of course, great news, not just because the game will look good, but because the on-screen visuals will be able to keep up with the kind of action the game itself wants to create. Might still come out for the Xbox One. Some people were surprised that Cliff Blazinski, the man who made Gears of War, wasn't going to make his next game for the Xbox One. The game's scheduled for launch on PC and PS4, but according to Bosky, that's because the two systems have a high install base. The devs have confirmed that, owing to the fact that they're still a small team, they're currently only going to focus on the PC and the PS4. But going forward, there's always the possibility that they might bring their game over to the Xbox One, or hell, maybe even the Switch. Not free to play. Lawbreakers was originally being marketed by Bosky as a free to play title but it has now been confirmed that that is no longer the case. Lawbreakers will be a proper paid experience, and it will even have a few in-game microtransactions. You can rest easy, though. It's not going to be a pay-to-win model. The purchases will only be for aesthetic items and objects rather than things that will actually affect gameplay. Not full-priced. It may not be free-to-play anymore, but Lawbreakers is not going to be full-priced either. The game is going to cost $39.99, This seems like an excellent move, not just because it will attract more players, but also because if you feel a little bit on the fence about the game, or are unwilling to spend too much money on it due to the lack of single player, maybe seeing it being sold for a much lower price could change your mind. Free DLC As we've already talked about, the only thing you can actually purchase in the game with real money will be cosmetics. This means that all other content released in the future for Lawbreakers, all DLC will be free from maps and modes to classes and weapons. Players will have access to it all if they have the game. Boss Key have done this so that some players don't get locked out of being able to play certain maps and with certain players based on the content they may or may not have purchased. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.